I received this, but it doesn't work. All seems to be perfect, but when the LED of the 10 volt output is lit, there is nothing more than 7.5 volt on the output. the output are oh, okay except the 10 volt preference I really don't know because I thought if uh, all is okay or nothing would be okay but in this case only the 10 volt doesn't work <clears throat> so okay let's redo the soldering joint I remove a little here and uh, when I chose um, the missing LED before that you can see 60 milliamp when I choose the missing LED the current drop about only 3 milliamps so the, this LED are not the the reason why this uh, device use a lot of current but if I switch off the device I switch off the device you can see an ideal an ideal of 0 0.5 milliamp this kind of ideal is uh, bad for your battery and uh, despite the fact this uh, switch are, are open now there is always a current going through this uh, board and uh, it's um, 0 0.5 milliamp so i think we need to to make to make a short between the two wire here and uh, connect directly the battery into the switch Let's take a glance with the microscope here. It's dirty and uh, there is lots of uh, flux residue. I'm going to uh, to check with the microscope and uh, to uh, to clean. In fact, it was a little bit uh, short circuit between this lid and the ground here. So uh, I didn't know. I don't know if uh, this uh, little short between this lead and the ground is uh, faulty. But um, I'm going to overflow all this uh, lead and uh, clean up all all this mess. It's a little bit dirty, and there is a little spot of solder here, which is. Uh, a little short circuit I'm but I'm done I'm not sure if it's uh, that or not here it is it works now just because there was a short under the leads of this uh, component at least I guess and check if it works properly 2.5 5 volts 7.5 and 10 volts that's okay.
now it's fully functional I have just put a wire here between uh, the uh, uh, ancient position of the switch here you can see a little wire and I put the directly the switch directly directly to the to the main for to prevent from the idle current which uh, discharge the battery because of that when you need when you stock your device and you, when the day when you need it you you will uh, find it fully empty and uh, it's not fu functional now you can uh, stock it and you will find it uh, f uh, fully ready to uh, to for to use so this device is working now i put this uh, switch on the main uh, of this battery for to prevent about the idle the idle of uh, this uh, circuit uh, make then when you stock your device for a long time and you don't use it when you use it you will find it fully empty and not functional you so you need to charge it immediately for to, for you can use it so now you just need to switch on like this and you have a fully functional device but uh, you have all uh, the voltage you need by switching each time this button and for to charge this unit it's different now now for you to charge it you need to switch on your device to let it, let it switch on and plug your your cable charger and it's charging when the LED will switch off it's it's uh, that's mean then your battery is full and of course when you disconnect you can switch off okay it was Alexander again see you soon